So let's go ahead and create some brushes that will be used for highlights or shadows and uh, similar types of effects. Um, we're in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, and this is a really cool, cool effect that, that will help uh, take your designs and, and give them that little extra um, effect and uh, just a little more excitement and, and flair to your designs. So we're in a new document in Illustrator and what I'm going to do is create with my pen tool and just my stroke to a, a black. Let's just start off by taking this ellipse tool and creating an ellipse. Now I'm going to show you a little later, let's fill that with black, I'm going to show you a little later um, by transforming this shape into a different size and, and length will definitely alter your your highlight or shadow effect. So right here we're going to start off with a shadow. I created an ellipse and with my selection tool I'm going to go ahead and uh, Apple C to copy and paste Apple F in front and we're going to take this and just scale scale this up a bit and just distort it. Now I'm going to align these right now just so they're the highlight will be right in the center or your shadow effect will be darkest right in the center of this so along any curve that'll be your hot spot so what you want to do is take your second shape that we created and move that to the back so send it to the back which is shift apple and the bracket symbol here for your hotkey and this shape you're going to want to take and in your transparency window you want to take that and just bring that all the way down to zero so the next step you want to use your blend tool and I'm gonna hit Apple Y just so we can see what's gonna happen here and this takes your artwork into just the line artwork and by selecting this you see how the the cursor is a white box you want to have that once that goes over top of your corner point, your end point, um, it'll turn black. So click once, and then on, on the corresponding shape, you don't want to click on the opposite side because it'll give you a, a distorted blend. You want to click the same point on the smaller ellipse. So again, wait till it changes black and click on it. So that helped us locate those points. So now Apple Y to bring back the artwork. And now you can see that it created a blend from black to black transparent with this light gray in the middle. Double click on your blend tool and it will open up this, this uh, window here. What you want to do is you want to change specified steps and this has one step so between from this point this ellipse to the outer ellipse you have one step in the middle. You want to create a multiple amount of steps so that gradation really blends nicely and has a smoother effect. So we're going to change this to 25. You can hit preview to kind of see what's actually going to happen here and how it blends. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then with my selection tool I'm going to deselect and then in my brushes window over here on the right, slide this down, we're going to take this effect, drag it over, and create a new art brush in this window. New art brush. Okay. That's what we like. I'll just hit okay. You can name it if you have different different sizes, shapes, whatever. You can change that. I'm just going to leave it as art brush 1. And here you can see it just appeared on the right uh, toolbar window under brushes. Your Your effect is there. So now I'm going to bring up this shape that I just created quickly, added a gradient, and I want to show you what this effect you can do here. So I'm going to go ahead and offset 
this path just just slightly and I'm gonna change the gradient into a different direction actually I can actually delete that gradient and I want to apply this high this uh, shadows brush to this inner shape so with your stroke selected click on your brush and here here you go it just added that now you can see that it's taking this dimension and applying that to this stroke and that's a, that's a really thick and, and fat shape so go to your stroke and you can change that and select a different size so and you can even change that to point one. So here you go. You have a multiple series of options that you can modify your your one brush effect. Now, I don't want this to be continuously all the way across. So I want it just to happen here at the bottom side because my light's going to come in from the top here down down at an angle. So I'm going to cut with my cut tool. I'm going to cut there and cut there and you can see right here I'm going to take this and we'll just move that for now you can see here is my shadow effect right there so now we want to create a white highlight brush you can do the same thing I'm just going to take this holding shift and option down I'm going to drag that shape up here. It's going to duplicate it. And since I already have this information here, I'm going to use my selection tool and select the inside and hold shift down and select the outside. And we're going to take that color and change it to white. Now you can use any color. You can have a red, um, you know, blue, whatever, whatever your, you know, effect you want to have a, as a color you can you know change that to whatever your heart's desire so here we're gonna have a white blend and it has the same information now use our selection tool I want to see what this actually looks like there you go you can kinda of have, have an idea of what that's gonna look like so we'll take this and do the same thing I'm gonna drag it into my brushes palette a new art brush okay okay Right here, it's a little hard to see because it's all white on a white background, so it's best if you do name them because you'll have a more uh, more control over which brush, if you have a lot of them here, which one you're actually going to use. So now this, this part that I didn't want to throw away, let's move that back into place and select our highlight brush here. And I'm just going to go again and maybe leave this a little bit thicker just so we can just so we can see. And let's change our gradient underneath here. Go the opposite direction so we really get to see what's going on. So here's your, your highlight brush. Now you can fine tune this. You can take this and let's let me show you what happens when with my selection tool I'm going to take this shape and move it to one side you can see how the gradient is a lot longer at this tail end than it is here and I want to scale this so it's a little smaller there so let's change this overall shape just so we get an idea of what's going to happen here. Take that, drag it over, new art brush. Okay. So, I'm just going to copy this and move it over a bit. Now, I want to show you that what's going to happen is it to this, this shape here. Here's our new brush. Now look how thin it is because I did modify its its thickness. I didn't change the length, I just changed the thickness. You can see right off the bat 
look at the difference in, in the stroke quality and the crispness. So it's all going to depend on your starting point and, and what you do here is going to uh, dictate what happens to your actual actual brush here. And you can see the highlight on the previous one was pretty much from this end point to this end point. It was pretty much in the center of those two distances. Now on this one, from here to here, the center roughly here, we're all the way over here now for, for the hot spot. So you're getting a lot more of a tail end here. And I can change this. I can change the direction by hitting my pen tool and clicking on the end point. And you can see now it, it added the this hot spot. It changed its location from this side to this side right here. So let me just undo that and you'll see this will get darker here. See how it's darker? I'm going to redo and it's over here. So you can change where you're, you want your highlight point to be, when, especially when you have it um, offset to one side. So that's how we do highlights and brushes. And let me go ahead and let's just copy this over here and just, let's just take this and get this to white so we can show you the white effect. That's this one down here. And so I'm going to select this, add that, and there you go. There's your, there's your highlight. So that's how to do highlights and brushes. Um, one last thing is with your blacks. Sometimes if you have, say we have a red gradient, and you know we don't like how dark this black is, it really muddies up. What you can do here, let's just do this so we can see this a little better. You see how it's really black and, and pretty muddy. What you can do is in your transparency hit multiply and that starts to give it a better, it's using some of the red underneath it so it's not looking so black. Um, it's just a nicer effect and then I actually start bringing down my opacity and, and playing with the uh, you know my opacity levels and if you uh, copy Apple C Apple F copy on top and make it a smaller point one um, you can start to see you can you can start playing with adding these on top of each other and, and, and getting a little bit more uh, depth to your effects so I would strongly recommend when you're using color to add that multiply to your shadow and you can also do it to your highlights so they're not so bright um, and and just play around with that so so there you go um, that's how to do brushes in Adobe Illustrator for highlights and shadows effects